Today we'll share with you a recipe for delicious Irish coffee. You can easily make it home with the equipment you already have in your kitchen. And by the end of the video, we'll announce a giveaway of this beautiful coffee cocktail book. So stay tuned. Mm. I personally am a big fan of Irish coffee. The cold cream on the top, the hot coffee beneath it, the strength of the whiskey, the sugar balancing everything out. It's just phenomenal how these few ingredients can work together. Now, to make the Irish coffee at home, we're going to need a goblet style glass for the look, 150 to 200 milliliters. This one is 190 and we bought it in the local vintage store. Whiskey or bourbon. We'll use uh, Bushmiller's Black Bush, which is a great choice in terms of quality price ratio. You can use your favorite whiskey. Generally speaking, I would use a cheaper single malt or blended whiskey as they are great for mixing. Brown or white sugar. You can experiment and use different kinds of honeys or Muscovado sugar, which has more of a tropical fruit flavor. Whipping cream with about 30% fat content. Lower fat cream around 12% isn't a good fit as it's harder to shake and the cream won't hold on the top of the coffee that well. A shaker or a jar with the lid. You can buy a basic shaker for around 8 to 10 euros, but if you don't have one, a jar with the lid will do the job. A spoon and a strainer and something to brew hot filter coffee with. Uh, we're going to use an Arab press, but you can make a pour over, a French press or a macapot. Coffee beans. You can choose any origin or processing. It is really a matter of personal preference and taste. I personally might prefer stronger brews and maybe natural processed coffees. Such coffees tend to have stronger flavors, which you can still taste through the whiskey and the cream. Now that we have all the ingredients and tools on the table, it might look a little bit complicated. Don't worry, Irish coffee in its essence is very simple. Four parts of hot filter coffee, one part of whiskey, one part cream, two spoons of sugar. That's it. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with pouring hot water into the glass. The drink stays hot for longer and it's really warming and more enjoyable that way. Now let's brew the coffee. For the 190 ml glass, we're gonna need about 130 ml of coffee. I'm gonna use 12 grams of finely ground coffee and 130 ml of water. A little stir and I'm gonna start pushing the timer when it hits 2 minutes. Now that we have brewed the coffee, I'm gonna pour the hot water out of the glass. 2 spoons of sugar, about 10 grams. Next, we're going to use 3 centiliters of whiskey. If you don't have a jigger, you can wait on a scale as 30 grams. Give it a little stir to connect all the ingredients together. The final part is whipped cream and for that we're going to need a shaker. Shaking will incorporate air into the cream, it will get thicker and it will easily sit on top of the coffee. But shaking can be a little bit awkward, uh, especially for baristas who have no bartending experience, like me. Shake for about 15 to 20 seconds. Strain it to get rid of the bubbles and then pour it over the spoon. The cream should gently slide on top of the coffee. If you don't have a shaker, you can use a jar with the lid and it will do the job as well. Now that we have the Irish coffee, there are two types of trouble you might be experiencing with uh, the cream and its texture. If the layers get mixed together, you should shake the cream a little bit longer to get it thicker. If on the other hand, the cream is too thick and doesn't come out of the shaker or uh, it creates big chunks of butter, that's unfortunately too much and you're gonna need to shake it once more. Like we said before, making a delicious Irish coffee is very simple. Four parts of hot coffee, one part of whiskey, one part cream and two spoons of sugar. The possibilities for Irish coffee are almost endless. You can use countless brands of whiskey or bourbon, you can use different types of sugars and honeys, you can use different creams and all of this will bring new flavors into the drink and so will differently processed coffees. Now as we promised, the giveaway. This book, Spiritual Coffee, was written by our friend and mixologist Martin Hudak, who won the World Coffee in Good Spirit Championship. It's full of history and delicious recipes. We're giving one copy of this book away. How to win this book? Check the description under the video, all the information is there. 
I hope you have a great time and I'll see you in the next video.